Hey everyone, welcome to the second lecture for this course that I'm about to show you how you can create a responsible personal portfolio website using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. This is the second lecture for this course. So from here, we are going to create a section 11 having a class name, service section, and an ID value service right here. Inside this section element, we are going to nest an H3 element having a class name, section heading. And now, let me nest this service inside a span element right here. Alright, again, inside this section element, we are going to nest a div element having a class name, service container. Inside this service container, we are going to nest six div element having the similar, having the same class name, which is service box right here. This is the cool tree how you can write multiple text in one time, right? All right, here we have a service box right here. Here we have a development having class name service box right here. Inside this development having class name service box, we are going to nest another development having class name service icon, which is a place that we are going to nest found out some icons right here, which is found from foundawesome.com. All right, here we have. So now. This is, this is a cool trick about how you can write the same code using sublime text right here. And then we are going to nest an H4 element and a paragraph element inside, inside this div element having class name service box. So to save your time, it's better to add all the code, all the the text of line right here as you can see here we have now all right here we have right okay here we have a service box here we have an h4 element and here we have a paragraph element and here we have font awesome link right here which is found from fontawesome.com so head over fontawesome.com and find any icon that you interested in it is as simple as easy right just head over fontawesome.com and find any icon that you are interested in so here we have right here is a shimmer part here is a shimmer document right here all right now having this let's jump right into to style this service section using C cascading style sheet right so uh, come over here and as always let me add a comment right here all right, using this ID selector, now let me add a background color having a linear gradient right here. All right, when I save and refresh, here we have a nice background. So, as you can see here, having a linear gradient. For the time being, let me comment out this, all right? For the time being, let me comment out this. It's not necessary for the time being, all right? Again, using this service container class selector, let me add some property value pair. So display flex align item center justify content space between. Flex wrap wrap gap 1.5 rim. So again, copy this and come over here and paste right here. And then, let me get, remove this. And then, using this class selector, which is service box right here. Now, let me add the width for, let me, 
let me add some property value pair from here the first property value pair is flex then flex we having a flex basis turning rim and with 100% padding 20 pixel from top and 20 pixel from left 60 pixel bottom and 20 pixel from padding 20 pixel 20 pixel 60 pixel and 20 pixel background having background color which is right here which is having a RGBA color code right here 255255.1 opacity 0.1 transparency point overflow hidden background background color here we have overflow hidden text align center margin 0 pixel from top and 50 pixel, 30 pixel and 50 pixel. So now box shadow, border radius 10 pixel. So when I save and refresh, here we have, right? That's cool and amazing. That is pretty nice. Then head over continue class selector and add another essential property which is Z index and let me say having a value one. So here we have, as you can see here. So when I save and refresh, that is cool and pretty nice. So now using this service, I can class selector. Let me style the font thousand I can write here. Here we have font size ring and color having such hexadecimal having such hexadecimal color code right here here we have the primary color now when i save and refresh here is it now let me use Okay, when I save and refresh, here we have. So now let me comment out this. And add a background from here, white. This is the hexadecimal color code for a white color. And when I save and refresh, here we have. Again, now let me comment out this and remove background white from service box right here. And then when I save and refresh, here, here we have, right? Okay, now using this descendant selector, H4 and service box class selector, now let me add some property value pair. Display in line block, color, margin, 30 pixel from top and bottom and zero pixel from left and right. Now display in line block, it is not necessary for the time being and font size 1.5 ring and font weight 300. So having this, when I save and refresh, here we have a nice text right here. So using the pseudo class selector before right here, content MPT bottom minus 50 pixel and left 50%, transform translate in the X direction minus by minus 50% and position absolute. If the position for the, the child element absolute, the position for the parent element should be relative. So we use 50 pixel height, 50 pixel and border radius 100%. Here we have a background and then transition on 0.5 second. So having this, when I save and refresh, here we have, that's it, right? Alright, now let me add a hover over fill over this service box container right here. So 
background green hit 100% and transform kill 1.03 so when I save and refresh here we have a nice hover over effect now let me add some property value pair to animate this transition so come over here and add cursor pointer and then transition point five second now come over here and add now come over here and create another div element having a class name service offer inside this inside this div element having a service offer class selector we are going to nest three development have three developments having a class name service facts right here all right now inside this we are going to nest an h3 element and a span element right here so now to save your time it's better to add offline right that's it here we have it's a element here you have a span element right here now this is the HTML part so having this when I save and refresh the web page here is it now first let me style this H3 element with having a section heading class selector right here here we have an H3 element having class name section heading. So using this class selector, now let me add some property value pair. Since this is a reusable, since we are going to use this code in the future, now come over here and add this, add this over here, right? All right, here we have section heading class selector text align center padding top 20 pixel margin bottom to rim and padding bottom 20 pixel font size 2.5 rim which is 2.5 times the global font size and color gray and then using this span element selector color orange red so now over here section heading before content empty position absolute if the position absolute from here the position for the parent element should be a relative right and then bottom minus 10 pixel left 50 percent transform translate in the x direction by minus 50 percent background here we have a background so having this when i save and refresh here is it beautiful h3 element or section heading text align also center right So now let me comment out this. All right, here we have a service section having a background color. That's pretty nice. And now using this paragraph element selector right here, let me add some property value pair to style any paragraph element which is found inside service box class selector right here so color white that is it So now using this class selector service of service offer let me add some property value pair right here to style any element which is found inside service of inside a development having a class name service offer display flex align item center justify content also center and gap five frame background having a linear gradient and background size cover background image right here having a linear gradient just like this 
here we have the, the image that we are going to use as a background, right? Which is found inside IMG folder. So background position also center, right? And again, using this service fact plus selector, now let me add some property value pair. Flex 1, 1, circuit rim, which is a flex base, equals to circuit rim and flex wrap, wrap text line center. And then again, using this H3 element selector right here, let me add some property value pair. In this case, I am going to add font size, three rim so again over here what we are going to do is using this span element selector which is found inside a development having class name service fact let me style this right here so font size also 1.2 rim color this is the primary color for this web website design and now having this when i save and refresh here we have a nice actual element and paragraph element having a linear gradient background image right here so now let me let me add a color over here color white so save and refresh that is pretty nice and all right, uh, and then using this element selector right here section, now come over here and paste right here since we, we since we will use this in the future, and then section padding two percent from top and bottom and five percent from left and right, and then mean height. 100 per 100 viewport here that's good and then when i save and refresh oh yeah that's good and congratulations we have just finished the service section for this responsible personal portfolio website in the next section we are going to create an about us page for this responsible portfolio website. With that being said, thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. Until then, bye for now.